Let's look at our liquid to gas transition for water and ask, what is the standard state free energy difference? And remember, standard state means one atmosphere of all gases, one molar of all concentrations, and pure liquids, pure solids. What is the standard state free energy difference for this physical change at 100 degrees C? Is it standard state delta G is less than zero, equal to zero, or greater than zero? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, water always boils, so delta G should be negative at the boiling point. B, the boiling point is the equilibrium between one atmosphere of gas and liquid, so delta G standard should be zero. Or C, boiling requires energy, so delta G standard should be greater than zero. Think about those three possible explanations and make a selection. We're talking about the liquid to gas phase transition. And at 100 degrees C, what's the standard state free energy difference? Now, standard state free energy difference means, in this case, the difference between one atmosphere of gas and pure liquid water at 100 degrees C. Now, notice we can talk about these standard states at different temperatures. The standard state is just one atmosphere of pressure for gases, one molar concentration for aqueous solutions, and pure liquids and pure solids. So we can talk about those states of matter at different temperatures. And in this case, we're talking about it at 100 degrees C. So what's the free energy difference between one atmosphere of gaseous water and liquid water at 100 degrees C? And I think you could say, well, that's what boiling is. Boiling occurs when there's a vapor pressure of one atmosphere above the liquid. So that is the equilibrium point. That's where liquid and gaseous water are in equilibrium. One atmosphere of gas, pure liquid at the boiling point. So what we have here is where is the free energy difference between the one atmosphere of gas and liquid exactly zero? Well, right here at the boiling point. So the boiling point, one atmosphere, 100 degrees C, the liquid and the gas are equilibrium, the standard free energy difference is zero. If you went to a different temperature, you would still have, and you were talking about the standard state, you would still have one atmosphere of gas. So that's why you say, well, if I go to a lower temperature and I still have one atmosphere of gas, well, then of course I favor the liquid. That's a higher amount of gas, one atmosphere, than the vapor pressure at these lower temperatures. And as I go to higher temperatures, then I have the one atmosphere of gas is the favored state of the system. So delta G standard is a function of temperature. In this case, I'm right at the equilibrium where the gas and the liquid are equally favored. In this case, the correct answer is B.